Hi, I'm Bob Berry. Some of you might know my work uh, in the music industry and as a jazz photographer here in LA. And I'm here today to talk to you about two things. First, this guitar. And the second thing is my brand new book called Guitar. First things first. This is a Martin D18S, which I purchased in 1968. And I'll tell you exactly how it happened. Um, I was walking down the street, 48th Street in Manhattan, just a little east of 7th Avenue is Terminal Music. The whole street used to be riddled with guitar stores and music stores. And I saw in the window this guitar all by itself. And it was love at first sight. Anybody who's had a GAS, GAS, a Guitar Acquisition Syndrome, that's something I learned from Ted Green, uh, will understand what I was going through. And I had to figure out how to raise the lofty sum of $258 to buy this guitar, which I managed to do. Managed to do, and I'm, I was always very pleased for that. It's been with me for over 50 years now, and uh, it's pretty much, in, you know, I haven't made any modifications except one. The, uh, the screws that they had put on there, the uh, tuning screws were kind of a brass, slightly Spanish looking, aesthetically not, not unpleasing, but really poor quality screws. And I, these are Grovers that I put on. And uh, <clears throat> I know, I know when you change something, it, it demeans the value, but it's been with me 50 years and it ain't going anywhere until I do. And I'll let people worry about that then. Anyhow. That's my guitar, and uh, I called him Marty, and he is uh, a dear friend. Second thing I want to talk to you about is my new book called Guitar Night. This is it right here, and it's a pictorial history of John Pisano's Guitar Night, going back 20 years. It contains... 127 guest guitarists, about 30, 35, uh, you know, people who sat in for a tune or two. And, uh, of course, a whole lot of, uh, side men. And it, it, it's a whole plethora of, of guitarists, musicians, uh, side men and, uh, and the people who were supporting it. Um, anyhow, I, let me show you the book. It comes in a sleeve, a box sleeve, and the book itself and the box were made by uh, a uh, publisher, a boutique publisher named Carlos Benitez here in Los Angeles, and uh, it's made to my modifications. It's, it's exactly the way I wanted it to be. And uh, as you can see, it's a 10, 10 by 10 inch book that contains all, all the information about Guitar Night, where it started, how many venues it's been in, and it goes on and on. Each and every one of these books has a vellum in it, which I will sign and number. And this is a limited edition of 250 books. And as you can see, it contains photographs of all this wonderful guitar, starting off with the great George Van Epps, magnificent man, magnificent guitarist. I had the honor of photographing him twice. And as you can see, one guitarist after another, and these are not so much bios, the text that you see on the pages. These are more or less anecdotal looks at these people. And I, I wanted you to get a, a feeling for who they are as, as people, as well as being musicians. Anyhow, the book is available and uh, all sorts of different things in the book. Uh, it, it covers not just the guitar nights, but all the events that uh, John Pisano had, has uh, created for the guitar night, which included 
many uh, knights that honored people. We honored uh, uh, Herb Ellis and Mondell Lowe. We honored uh, just so many. Uh, when when uh, Al Viola passed, we did a wonderful uh, get together for him. And one of my favorite evenings is, uh, as many of you know, John Pisano uh, worked with Joe Pass for 10 years. They were a partnership. And uh, when Joe passed on, his widow uh, gave John his ES-175, his Gibson, the lap one he played last, uh, to uh, him to hold on to. And John brings it in maybe once a year or once every two years and has uh, a Joe Pass night where all the guitar players come in and there could be like 30, 40 guitar players who come in and sit there and play Joe Pass's guitar. It is great. <laughs> Everybody enjoyed it. Anyhow, all these things are in here, in this book. And I'd like you to have this book. Like I said, there was a limited edition of 250. I've already sold 150. I have 100 left. And I hope that you will consider buying a book for yourself. It's, 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 it's really special. I, I'm very proud of it. So I, that's pretty much it. Um, I think probably my uh, contact material will be in the magazine, the Vintage Guitar. Thank you, Vintage Guitar, for your, uh, for your focus on me and, and the book. Anyhow, that's pretty much it. Um, I just hope that you all, from this book, get to know these wonderful, wonderful musicians and people as well as I have. Thank you.